Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. I hope you had a nice and restful half time and you're ready to learn. So let's start with Monday's English lesson. So your word of the week is wonder. My turn, wonder, your turn. Well done, wonder means to walk or move slowly in an aimless way. A synonym that means a word that has the same meaning as the word wonder is a ramble. And a noun to name that means a word that has the opposite meaning is run or stay. A sentence that I thought of the word wonder is I wandered through the narrow streets. The word wonder has six letters, two vowels and two syllables. Now pause the video and see if you can find if you can think, actually, a sentence with the word wonder. Can you write your sentence down in your home learning book? Fantastic. So let's move on and have a look at the star words for today. My turn, your turn, my turn first. Narrative, story, characters, setting, adventure, plot, replied. Your learning question today is, can you identify the features of a narrative? Your steps of success are, I can identify the features of a narrative, I can participate in conversations, and I can respond appropriately to others. Now, we, did, we talked about narratives before half term. Can you remember what is a narrative? Well done, a narrative is a story, has an interesting plot, fantastic. Now, can you remember different types of narratives? Can you think of different types of narratives? You can use this slide to help you remember. Good, thank you for telling me. Some types of narratives might be fairy tales or adventure or animal stories or science fiction or fantasy stories, or myths, or spooky stories, or fiction stories. Well done for remembering. Now, let's move on and see. Have a look at these, nar uh, these narratives. Have you ever read any of these books before? Do you recognize any of them? Which, one did, which ones did you read, and which ones were your favorite? Now, what kind of things do you like reading about? You can pause the video and discuss with someone in your household. Now, have another think. What do you think makes a good story? Why do you think that? You can reflect back on the features of a narrative that we talked about last half time. Now, here you go. Now, pause your video and see if you can remember any features of a narrative, okay? So you're ready to do that? Fantastic. Did you do that? Well done. Let's have a look at some of features of a narrative together. A narrative must have a setting. It must have characters. It must have an interesting plot. It must have some characters' voices, so what the characters might say, must have adjectives or interesting vocabulary, and must have an adventure or a problem might be occurring. And the characters need to find a solution for it, don't they? Now I think if you can remember any more features of a narrative, you can pause the video and discuss with someone in your household. Are you able to do that? Fantastic, okay. Now your task today is to choose a book, any that you have in your house, or and see if you can identify some of the features. See if you can find the title, see if you can find some exciting words, see if you can find the characters, see if you can find what is the beginning, the middle, or the end to your story. See if that book has an engaging plot or a setting, and if there is an adventure or a problem, see if it has illustrations or if it's funny. 
your challenge is to tell someone in your household which book you liked and explain why you liked it. So I hope you enjoyed today's English lesson and well done everybody. I will see you next time. Bye.